Okay, I'm standing here this morning in front of my 42 inch L Power ship saw, one of two ship saws that I own. This blade has got one tooth per inch. It's an inch and a quarter broad and it's about a 63 thousandths of an inch thick. One tooth is set in to the right, the next tooth is set to the left, and then the next tooth is straight up the middle called a, a raker tooth. The angles on the teeth were sharpened straight across when the blade was first sharpened with a grinder at the factory and then the teeth were set. It's not ideal for me. So I'm gonna give you a quick little demonstration on how it is that I go about sharpening uh, these large blades. We try to keep the blades in there as long as possible and this is the method that we're using. I've gotten myself out a piece of oak. I've cut it on a five degree angle down here, uh, down in this direction as compared to the table. This being zero degrees, this is five degrees down here. And then I put an angle on the top of it in both directions about eight degrees because that eight degrees represents the angle that I want the gullet across and the five degrees represents the angle that I want the gullet to be in this direction here. Now I've also cut a slot down this piece of wood here because that stabilizes the blade as, I, as I'm filing it and I've got the guides up very close to it and I'm holding the tension down with my left hand on the blade so I'm filing in this direction and then you'll see me switch to the next tooth which is set the other way and file it in this direction and then I'm filing the raker tooth straight across like this I'm not following either one of these eight degree angles but just approximately straight across that completes the gullets and then what I do is I, I file the faces of the tooth freehand without any filing uh, guide in this direction and in this direction and then straight across on the gullets so the leading edge of the tooth that's set my way is the most extreme angle part of the tooth. So do about 10 or 12 strokes in order to surface the whole face of that tooth. The reason why I go through this is because the blades out of the box just don't cut well enough for me. And I can't afford to take a blade out of here and, and put another blade. These blades are worth $200 or more. So I've got blades two inches broad. They're worth $300. You can't take one out every 15 minutes and put a new blade in. It's just too time consuming and too much money and send them out and have them sharpened or whatever and they come back the same way as I just explained. So what I've done is learn how to sharpen the blades and it's quite successful. I'll keep a blade like this in this machine for years. We're gonna get a little block of wood, just run it through there, just see how well it does cut. I don't know anyone else that sharpens them in the machine like this, but I've been able to figure out how to do it. it really isn't that hard. And uh, makes an excellent cutting machine.